my name is Teacher Zian, also known as Ms. Hu, and I'm a physics teacher. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own model ripple tank at home using stuff you can easily find around the house. Now, I'm one of those kind of people who really believes in reusing and recycling and upcycling. So I don't like to spend a lot of money or buy new items and use up a lot of resources to try to make stuff. Because I feel that that's kind of a waste of resources if you're just going to use them one time and then throw them away. So what I will normally do in my videos is to show you how to use stuff you can find around the house to study physics concepts. And you'll have to spend very little money if you need to spend any money at all. Now, bear in mind that an actual ripple tank is quite complex. So we're not going to build an actual ripple tank because you're going to need a motor and you're going to need you know, a flashing light or a stroboscopic light. But instead, we're just going to set up something really simple so that you can observe water wave phenomena. So one of the things you would need is a transparent shallow tray. If you do a lot of takeouts or order a lot of food in, you would probably have a lot of those kind of transparent trays. But it's better to get one that's really flat and as large as possible. So in this case, I do have a transparent lid um, that came with one of those deliveries. Now this is a little flimsy, so it still works, but it would be better if you could get something sturdier. So for example, I have this from a chocolate box. You would also need something to support those trays so that you have an empty space below. I'm going to use my books. I'm going to stack them this way. So that creates some space in between the trays. Now, it's also possible to use any other support. If you would like to use cups, for example, by all means, go ahead. But I'm using books because they provide a more stable base. Just check that you're able to support the shallow tray, whichever one that you use. You would also need a lamp. If you don't have a lamp, you can also use a torchlight. So I'm going to use a table lamp because that way I don't have to keep holding the lamp over the model ripple tank. If you could get a lamp with white light, it would be even better. Mine is yellow light. It still works, though not as great. Also, for the best observation, get the surface underneath the ripple tank to be white in color so that you can see the shadows more clearly. If you don't have anything that's white, just get a piece of white paper to put underneath your tank and it will work perfectly fine. In order to generate the waves, you'd have to manually generate the waves because we don't have the motor. So get a ruler so that you can generate plane waves and a pencil if you'd like to generate circular waves. So how do we set up the ripple tank? It's really, really simple. So if you're using books, make sure the books are at the same height so that when you place your shallow tray, it's not you know, going to spill over or anything like that. They should be at the same level. So whichever support that you use, if you're using cups, for example, then also make sure the cups are at the same level. right? So make sure that they're at the same level. Um, place your white piece of paper in between. Okay. And when you position the transparent tray, make sure that it's supported. So you don't want a situation where you're like, okay, I want to try to maximize the space in between. Then when you start doing anything, it falls off the uh, support. And because you're going to put water inside, that's going to cause water to spill everywhere. So as mentioned earlier, make sure that the books are at the same level so that they can support the transparent tray. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour the water in carefully. You don't need a lot of water, you just need enough water so that it's able to create the ripples in order to observe the shadow underneath the tank. The purpose of the lamp is to provide light so that the shadows formed from the waves in the tank can be seen easily on the white card under the tank. So that's why I'm switching on the lamp right now. And here's the ruler which I'm going to use to create the plane waves. So let's have a quick test to see if we're able to observe the water waves under the tank. And as you can see, when I create the plane waves in the water inside that shallow transparent tank, you're able to see the shadow of the water waves really clearly on that piece of white card which I've placed under the tank. 
Let me show you now using the stiffer tray. It's pretty much the same thing. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether you use a very sturdy tray or whether you use something that's a little flimsy, as long as the tank is able to support the water without falling over. You know, that's really important. So if I take the ruler again and I create the ripples, you'd be able to see the shadow of the waterways formed under the tank on the piece of white card. If we wanted to create circular waves, we just need to take a pencil or you can even use your own finger really and just tap on the surface of the water and you'll be able to see circular waves. So yes, if you use your finger, it's perfectly fine as well. high-tech stuff in order to observe physics concepts. You can use practically anything you can find at home just to observe physics concepts. So feel free to have fun with your homemade model ripple tank, but be very careful that you don't accidentally spill water everywhere. Don't forget to click like and subscribe because the more likes and subs I get, then the more motivated I will be to create more videos about stuff you can use from around the house just to observe physics phenomena. Have fun!